Matt, here we are, new gym. Yeah. How long have you been down at the Jennings, mate? Well, second week down here. Um, thanks to the change. Yeah. And, um, Mike and his down, does some pad under a few sessions. Well, I've done a week with him. I've enjoyed it, yeah. Um, Looking forward to the future now. Well, what a great place to be at yeah. present because we've just seen it. It absolutely buzzing here. Yeah. And arguably, some of the best kids in the middleweight division are all here, you know. Uh, yeah. I was just saying to Mark Jeffers, you know, perhaps one of the best unknown super middleweights out there. Um, you've just had Jack Cullen staying down here, you've just been sparring, you've done the final four rounds with him. Yeah. Um, you've got Jack Arm for your back, you know, and obviously yourself. Yeah, the sparring went down here, um, but not really going to have to be travelling for it, we've got it all in there, all in house. Yeah, mm. uh, and obviously, you know, we, we saw, there was a fight last weekend with Mick Hall and uh, Denzel Bentley. Yeah. Obviously, you must have been paying close attention yeah, to that. There's big talks of me fighting Denzel, just waiting for the, for the date now, hopefully sometime in September, October. And, and that it, the winner of that fight then is scheduled to fight yeah, Andrew British Robinson title. for the British title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get your second crack at it. Yeah, definitely. Against a kid that i seen you dismantle over six rounds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was tough, he was hard, but no one had ever stopped him before. No one's ever stopped him since, actually. Have, yeah. And uh, you were the first guy to do it. Yeah, Andy Robinson, like, pretty awkward, like, all pretty awkward. Like. Well, I think it took you a couple of rounds to catch yeah, up with yeah. him, but when you did catch up with him, yeah. you slowly dismantled him, and then, did, did, did you retire? Or, I can't remember. No, the ref stopped it. The ref yeah. stopped it, yeah. yeah. So, I presume, come through Denzel Bentley, then you're mm. going to be very confident that that British title you've been... Definitely. Waiting for for such Definitely. a long time. I know, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Ten years of pro, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think people only really known about you perhaps the last, say, four years, three yeah, years, I really. Had a proper stop start career, then I when I was mm -hmm. signed up to Gary Island Island. Obviously, I just wanted to build my career here back in Manchester. Yeah. And he took me out to Ireland. And when you talk about building your career in Oldham. You yeah. sell that place out, don't you, mate? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. a night that everyone comes five, out six, to watch it. Big five, six, and six, isn't it? Oh, only all these bananas, isn't it? <laughs> I remember when you and Akeem uh, both fought on there and you sold the place out. Yeah. The first time we had it all opened up, yeah, it was absolutely yeah. hammered. Yeah, it's a good setup there, a back at all of them. It is. And yeah. a great fan base for you, mate. Yeah, yeah. But, like you say, you know, um, you're at a stage now where. I think the rebuilding has been done since yeah. that loss to uh, Liam Williams. I think that must have been great for you when you didn't you help him prepare for the last couple of his fights? I did one spa, I did one spa with him. Well, I thought you had me on a couple of times. No, 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 he came down to the gym with him for one spa. He, he came down to help me out, actually. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Did that put a lot of demons to bed for you? Definitely, yeah. He's a, he's a good lad, Liam. Well, he's before good, the man. fight, we was friends before the fight, and obviously, when the fight got announced on the side with press conferences, then like, you got to like, build a bit of hate up in it. Yeah. <laughs> To, to get into the fight, innit? Yeah, it's my friends again now. But I, I think it'd be fair to say it wasn't you on that night. No, definitely not. But I'm not going to take that away from Liam. No, no, you can't. I mean, not the kid's quality, is, isn't he? He's, he's moved on to, to, well, hopefully he's looking for will levels, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. Like, I would well, say the perforated you in the fight, but he's not an excuse for it, but you know what I mean? But it won't be in there that night. No, no, like you say, I, uh, I seen you, I, was, I think it was like your last fight, I filmed the last fight. Um, uh, it was lucky that you got out actually, because no, yeah, uh, yeah. they've got the 11 o'clock um, place at Oldham where no fighting after that. So you literally got out, and I think if you would have gone into the fourth round, they might have had to stop it, no, yeah. but he didn't, because you stopped him in the first. Yeah. <laughs> so back to doing what you do normally, which is take people out. I mean, what is it, 25 wins, 19 stoppages? 26 from that, yeah. Quite yeah. a phenomenal record, mate. Oh, yeah. But Denzel Bentley has, has a, a record similar. I think he's 13 wins yeah. with 11 KOs. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you read anything into that? Do you read anything into the win with um, Mick Hall at the weekend? I think it's, it's a good performance from um, Denzel. I think that Mick Hall's tough on him, could take Denzel's punches. And uh, looking at that, it looked like Denzel ran out of steam after four rounds. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And obviously, Mick Hall was knackered after round one. I mean, I don't know. Well, I, I don't think Mick had had the best preparation. No, right? no, I think he had small soon since, and he, he said he only about four weeks in camp, which yeah. is uh, not the best for. I think I think, um, I think he only sparred once or twice for it. He, he didn't have any sparring for it either, didn't he? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, his time was off a little bit, but I tell you what, though, he's got a great chin on him, though, yeah, hasn't he? Good chin, yeah. He really did take some punches there, yeah. and I think it was the right decision by yeah. uh, Kevin Marie to pull him out. Who's like your manager as well, good, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, good decision from Kevin. That you've been with Kevin a long time, haven't you? Yeah. Know, right from the beginning. Six years so far, yeah. 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 So um, listen, good luck for whatever comes next. Like yeah. I say, if the fight comes off with Denzel, uh, Denzel, Denzel Bentley, it should be an absolute yeah. cracking war, Definitely. and set you up for that pretty title, which I know you. You, uh, you, you really, really do want, and I'm pretty sure you'd be confident of winning that. Definitely. definitely. Then if you do, really big fights, and in it, mate. Yeah, definitely. Elevated into the world team, then yeah. you have to be, you know. If you're British yeah, champion, yeah. you've got to be on the world team. Definitely, yeah. Get um, do a few defences that, but British then move on. Brilliant. All right, well, listen, hope you enjoy it down here, mate. Seems like you've really settled in well, and uh, Mike and Dave are great uh, trainers, yeah, aren't they? Definitely. All right, kiddo. Take care, mate. Bye. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.